Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of College Review Series by Akash. So today we are going to review another IIT, the IIT which is one of the newest addition to the IIT family. Yes, I'm talking about IIT Palakkad. So if you want to know everything about this IIT, about its campus, courses, fee structure, placements, scholarships, cutoff and a lot more, then stick around as we explore this IIT. Indian Institute of Technology Palakkad was established in the year 2015 and the IIT started its functioning from a temporary campus. In 2019, the academic activities begin at Neela campus. In 2023, the institute completed its construction and since then it is fully operational from its permanent campus which is spread across 504 acres. The IIT campus is made up of two sections, Neela and Sahadri sector located at the scenic foothill of Sahadri Mountains. The campus consists of various facilities for its students and faculty members. The facilities such as a laboratory complex, institute clinic, amenity center, C-Square Innovation Lab, Air Quality Weather Station, Accommodation Facilities, Sports Facilities, Auditorium, Cafeteria, Gym, Hospital or Medical Facilities and also Shuttle Facilities. Talking about its location and accessibility, then the IIT is located 14 km from Palakkad Railway Junction and approximately 60 km from Coimbatore International Airport. Moving on to the rankings now, then the IIT has been ranked 64th in the engineering category in NIRF 2024. Talking about the courses offered here at IIT Palakkar, then the IIT offers engineering programs in five disciplines. Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Data Science and Engineering, Mechanical Engineering and Electrical Engineering with 40 seats in each discipline. And to get admission in one of these courses, the eligibility criteria is same as at all the IITs. As first of all, the candidate seeking admission in one of the BTEC courses need to first of all pass class 12 board examination with physics, chemistry and mathematics as their core subjects. 75% is the required aggregate for general category of the students and 65 is the required aggregate percentage for STSC or PWD candidates. Further, the students need to clear J advance to be eligible for the admission process. And for that, they'll first of all have to clear J main paper one. And if you are a foreign national, you can directly register yourself for J advance. Further, you sit for JOSA counseling based on the mark secured in your J advance. Thereon, you get all your documents verified and pay the required fees. Foreign nationals, they get accepted through DASA and ICCR schemes. Now, let's have a look at the fee structure for one of the BTEC courses here at IIT Palakkad. Here is the fee structure for the first semester of your BTEC program. The fee comprises of one-time fee which is to be paid at the time of admission 7500 institutional fee that includes tuition fee examination charges registration charges hostel seat rent electricity water and swd charges that comes about 1 lakh 8200 further one-time hostel charges 3500 student sector fees and advanced sector charges 20000 so the fee for the first semester comes about to be 1 lakh 39200 so BTEC from IIT Palakkad would cost you between 9 to 10 lakh approximately. Like all the IITs, IIT Palakkar also offers certain fee waivers to its economically weaker section students. For ST, SC or PWD candidates, they get full remission of tuition fee. 100% tuition fee remission to all the candidates with family income less than 1 lakh. Two-third of the remission of tuition fee to all the candidates with parental income between 1 to 5 lakh rupees. With this, the IIT also offers certain scholarship schemes to its meritorious and economically weaker section students. There is a long list of scholarships offered here at IIT Palakkar. The first one is full fee remission, two-third fee remission, MCM scholarship, SC or ST scholarship, PWD fee waiver, 
Shraman Scholarships and Vidya Lakshmi Scholarship Scheme. You can pause the video or you can take the screenshot of the same in order to get complete detail of the scholarships. Now let's have a look at the available placement statistics for the year 2023-24. Total 130 companies visited for the placement drive and 129 students registered for the same. 91 students were placed against 105 job offers made making it a placement percentage of 71.09%. Now this placement rate was still May 2024 and the hirings were still going on. The average salary package received was 15.61 lakhs while the highest package received was 41.61 lakhs. Here are the companies that participated in the placement drive. Now let's have a look at the J Advance rank cutoff for the year 2024. It is the branch wise rank cutoff after fifth round of JOSA counselling. Talking about the civil engineering branch, the rank cutoff for gender neutral started at 12,874 and closed at 15,812. For the female only category, the closing rank was 23,384. For computer science and engineering, for gender neutral, the opening rank stood at 4,837, whereas the closing rank was 6,199. For the female only category, the rank closed at 9,127. For the data science and engineering branch, the rank started at 6,267 and closed at 8,084 for gender neutral. And for female only branch, the same started at 12,138 and closed at 13,283. Talking about electrical engineering, the opening rank for gender neutral was 8,281 and closing was 9,625. And for females only, the closing rank was 15,014. For mechanical engineering branch, the rank for gender neutral branch closed at 12,540. And for the female only category, the same closed at 21,578. For more information on IIT Palakkad Cut of 2024, do visit the link given in the description. Now let's have a look at the students' life and the fest conducted here at IIT Palakkad. Patrika, an annual techno-cultural festival that combines cultural performances and technical competitions. The festival includes workshops, quizzes, exhibitions and demonstrations. Then there is this tech fest where engineering students from across Kerala showcase their innovations. The festival is jointly organized by IIT Palakkad and the Kerala State Council for Science, Technology and Environment. The IIT also has a society for promotion of Indian classical music and cultural amongst youth. Now let's have a look at what do the students think about IIT Palakkad. Here are the students' reviews as collected from various trusted websites. IIT Palakkar has excellent infrastructure and facilities available such as unlimited Wi-Fi access, well-cleaned classrooms, a library and labs provided with new equipment. Being a new IIT, the clubs here are very active. There is also a bus facility to help students and professors reach the required destinations both inside the campus and in Palakkad city. The placement drive is tough and very competitive. There are also internships organized for students. Students with coding experience do enjoy certain preferences when going through placement. Are some of the reviews provided by the students themselves. So being a new IIT or let's say the third generation IIT, IIT Palakkad has made remarkably strides blending academic excellence with a focus on innovation and sustainability. So whether you are seeking academic excellence, research opportunities or a place where you can kickstart your journey towards success along with the tag of IIT, then IIT Palakkad is certainly carving its niche among the India's premier institutions. Rest the choice is all yours as this was all from me today. Once again, now you let me know which other IIT do you want me to review next. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.